morning, everyone. I figured I'd try to vlog my day. Whew. I just ran up a hill, so I'm a little winded. Anyways, uh, it's Monday, uh, April 16th. Just took my son to school. I have a hair appointment later to get blonde for the spring and summer. And I figured I'd come and get a hike. So my hair, I don't know, I gotta work out, but my hair will be nice and dirty. So it'll capture like the dye and stuff better. That's what I've been told. But anyways, so let me just show you this hike that's by our house. Already ran up this hill, which has brought you to this over here. Um, this goes all the way down. And then it goes up and down and up and down and up and down. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of like keeps going on like that. It's pretty intense, uh, pretty steep hills. So let's do this. I only have, I have an hour, but I want to be able to get a good shake and stuff in and rinse off my body so I don't smell like you know, the woods when I get my hair done. <laughs> so let's go. back in my car and I'm starving and my legs are on fire but luckily I'm just down the street so I can eat because I am hungry I'm hungry I'm in a hurry so I made a quick little breakfast um I've been really busy with baseball so I got these egg whites just easier and faster to make from HEB so I just added pepper and then cooked that I made a smoothie with these blendables because, again, with baseball and work and just everything, well, life in general gets busy. So I got these. It has everything already. You just add water and it has pears, spinach, pineapple, banana, lemon, spearmint. It's the empowerment smoothie. And I just added some of my boyfriend's protein for it. And then this is a cinnamon waffle and I just added peanut butter. Oh, so good, but I'm in a hurry, so I'm gonna try to eat real quick, shower, put a little bit of makeup on so I look presentable, and head to my appointment. Good morning. Good morning. Why are you being so talkative this morning? Like every morning. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I love you. I love you. I look <clears throat> a hot mess so sorry anyways story time real quick on the way to go get my hair done and the last time I was blonde oh my god actually my boyfriend met me when I was blonde god bless his heart because I was a horrible looking blonde like and all my friends shame on you <laughs> because no one told me I had no business being the blonde that I was and how blonde that I was Anyways, um, okay, so I was like 17 when I went blonde, I think, and me and my 2K best friends were just like bored and we're like, let's just dye my hair. Like, I always wanted to see what I look like as a blonde. Dumbasses, we did, um, sorry, beep, we did a box color and it was horrible. We didn't know that I need to like bleach my hair, tone my hair, nothing, you know, nothing. So <laughs> I came out like super freaking orange and I eventually had to go to one of my friends and well, actually I tried to save it myself. We went to Sally's and then they told us like, no, you need to do all this other stuff. Um, and you know, y'all, <laughs> you can try to save it so we got toner and stuff but it was still really bad and then um my 
friend Lori she like made it look way better but it's still like my roots and everything were blonde and I just like my eyebrows still weren't like blonde and I don't know it was just like I thought I was cute but looking back at old pictures I don't know maybe it's because my taste has changed I was just like sometimes I would look cute and then other times I'd be like no like you were born to be a brunette anyways here I am 27 years old and I can't stop liking certain hair colors and I will show you my inspiration when I get there but now we're like my hair isn't as dark as it was before like I do have some highlights in it now so we're just gonna go a lot blonder but I am uh I am nervous but thankfully my hairdresser has wine and beer so I will <clears throat> probably have a drink yes and sh I'm sure she will do great and I'm a lot older and my roots are not going blonde this time like you'll see I'm excited I'm excited but I'm nervous my boyfriend's gone and I will send him a picture so he will see it but like when he comes home I'm gonna be like a whole new woman a whole blonde yeah I'm excited so let's see how this goes all right I'm here. Oh, I'm so nervous. I just, I mean, you can always dye it back, right? But I'm really, really nervous. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Here we go. heart attack because we're gonna do it in sessions and that way I keep the integrity of my hair so it's gonna get blonder but next month it'll be blonder right now it's like right now I still feel completely different because I'm usually brunette and it's a lot more blonde than I'm used to but I do like it I just really need a tan now because I'm like so white and I just need to I need to be tan. <laughs> Hope the boyfriend likes it though. But now I am going to, I can't stop touching it because it's so soft right now. Um, going to get something to eat because I'm starving. Um, go home, do some laundry, pick up the child, head to baseball because our life revolves around baseball. But thanks, Marcella. Okay, so I just got back from. Ulta. I couldn't help it. Like I needed a tan. Like I, I feel like washed out being this fair and this blonde. Even though I'm not that blonde yet, I just I don't feel it. Like I needed it. So I've been checking all the different self tan reviews for the past couple days, and I usually get loving tan because I love 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 loving tan. But since I didn't plan ahead and order it, and it's a little more pricier, I'm gonna try the fake bake. They had a lot of good self tanners. Well, a lot of tanners there that like had good reviews, but this one was 60 minutes and it came with a mitt and gloves already. And it was only $25. And it was like one hour golden tan, two hour bronze and three hour dark. So I was like, I might as well just try it. 
Uh, a couple other things because they always get you when you're in line at the register. Because I was like, just sell Tanner, that's all I need. No. Uh, it was only $5, so I got a little travel of the rose water because I always hear good things about it. So I'm going to try it. And it does smell good, so. Uh, another thing is, so my other, um, the other YouTube influencers went to the launch of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang uh, Mascara. And Desi raved about it so much. Desi Perkins, and I'm obsessed with her. So I have to try it. 36 hour full blast volume. 90% saw dramatic volume. 92% said it lengthened their lashes. Bigger, badder, volumizing mascara. So we'll have to try that out. I just got a small one because I have lash extensions, so I really don't need mascara, but I just always have a small one in case I do like more dramatic makeup. And then the last thing that I got that I was like, all right, if this is what it says, then I'll get it. It was Bye Bye Under Cream by It Cosmetics. It says eight hours of sleep in a tube. Um, I need that. Like going to school, going to work, going to all the sports, like PTA mom, everything, working all these different jobs. If you can give me eight hours under eyes in a tube, then uh, that's awesome. Anyways. So I'll have to try all those things out and hopefully I like everything that I got and then I'll go back and get the bigger sizes. But I just got home and I made some broccoli and cheese and grilled, just grilled chicken. And I was gonna make rice, but I was so hungry I didn't feel like waiting for it. Uh, I'm gonna finish some laundry and then I'm gonna go pick up my son from school and get him ready for baseball because he has a game tonight and we're playing the Astros. So go Yankees only when it comes to Little League. Um, and on the way home from Ulta, I heard from my boyfriend and he sent me a picture and he's so hot. I'm so excited for him to come home. He's coming home in seven days and I thought it was gonna be a lot longer, but I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not going to be. So excited to have him home, but I'm gonna wait for him to get back from training until I post his pictures. So I'm excited though. Hopefully he'll be a sniper. So we're here, I'm waiting for Ethan to do his warm up. And I'm sitting under this tree and a freaking caterpillar fell on me. I don't know where it's at now. Oh yeah, there it is. Right there. That big ass thing was on my back. Oh my gosh. And I tell my son not to play with them, but Look at how huge he is. I just wanted to show. I just felt something squishy and I was like, what is that? I hope I didn't hurt him. So that he can become a butterfly. Oh, this guy is not poisonous.
telling you, if we get better, they're going to get better. And that thing is getting better and better. But I'm really proud of you guys. I think from day one on to now, we, we strive a lot. If we're going to continue to do pay that. Attention. Defense was excellent. Excellent. It was, don't worry about that. We're going to continue to improve, OK? You did a great job. Marcos, great job today. Everybody did a great job. I'm proud of you, OK? But I'm proud of you guys. It was, if you suffer from the heart, like me, <laughs> it wasn't good, but it, it was a beautiful <laughs> game. I'm telling you, I almost, my heart almost blew out of my chest. But you guys did a pretty good. I'm proud of you guys. Serious. You guys did pretty good. I'm really proud. Okay? We keep winning. Okay? Now we're winning today. Now Saturday, we got the Rangers. We beat him once already. Don't worry about it. Why you why people say, oh, what? <laughs> we beat him already? I don't understand why. Oh, why? Don't, it's Saturday. Don't worry. Listen up. On Saturday, I need you kids to eat the cereals. Because every time we play in the morning, I don't know what is it. You guys sleep. Tell you mom, cereals, get away. Uh, there you go. Coffee. coffee. Everybody gets coffee. Everyone gets coffee. I'm telling you, it's Saturday. Okay? You guys did a great job. I'm proud of you guys. I'm really proud. Everybody, loud and proud. Loud and proud. Let's go. On three, Yankees. On three. Right here. One, two, three. Yankees! So the Yankees won. Oh my gosh, I thought that the. Astros were gonna beat us for a second because they caught up and I was like, oh lordy. Sometimes our boys get too confident and then they just like, they let it go. And I'm like, no, y'all have to keep going till the very end. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. He spent the day with me. Uh, I'm in a shower. My child's already asleep and knocked out. And I am going to exfoliate and try the fake bake and hopefully be tan in the morning. So I'll let you know how that goes. Bye.